Sunny Atomic here, and I'm going to be unboxing the monthly Medusa makeup subscription box. Um, I am wearing my summer look today from items from last month's box, and I'm, I'll go ahead and review the stuff I used at the end of the unboxing. Um, I'm wearing my summer t-shirt. That's from the show, that's from the band Death, I just saw them play a couple weekends ago and they were really, really, really good, so I had to buy a t-shirt. Um, and it was pink, so I thought it went well with my summer look and the neon pink lipstick. And actually this looks pretty pink on camera, it looks pretty good, but it actually is super neon in person. So the camera actually makes it look a little less neon interestingly enough, but it is very super neon. Um, <clears throat> but I'll talk about that after. Let's go ahead and unbox. So I'm super excited to open this. So here's the June box. And let's see what's inside. And it comes all wrapped like that. Super cute. Look at the little stars. Super cute. Okay. This says... Oh, there's a little ad for the August box. I guess it is um, an anniversary, and so they are going to be, it says four full-size products exclusive to subscribers, including lots of extra goodies. So it looks like they're going to be adding a bunch of stuff. So if you are curious, you've been wanting to sign up and subscribe, I, say I would do it for the August box because you're going to get the most from that. Um, I'll go ahead and put that info below. So this is the festival box. Okay, I'm not going to look, but it has everything in it, but I'm not going to look because I want to be surprised. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing in here is this drink koozie. It's cute. Um, I don't normally use these, but um, it might come in handy for outdoor in the summertime. And my husband definitely, he always uses them. Oh, okay, cool. It's a set of lashes, and I don't have any currently, so that is very cool. I'll definitely use those. This is, ooh, glitter. Jupiter glitter. I don't know if you could see that. It's sort of a corally, like bronzy, orangey pink kind of look. That's very cool would go with my look today. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Ooh. Extreme Sparkle Lip Gloss. Disco Queen. Roller Girl. That is very cool. Let's see what this looks like outside of the box. Okay, so it's a Disco Queen lip gloss in Roller Girl. I'm going to open it up. Oh, that's nice. So, right there, it's actually pretty sheer. Um, that's not showing up terribly well. It's pretty sheer. It's got super sparkles in it though. So it's got these pinky orange, it's kind of like a light orange tint with like, see that pinky blue duochrome? So that would, this would look really good on. It doesn't look great um, in the camera swatched on my hand, but this would look really great on the lips. And actually as a lip topper, I think it would look really good too. So, interested to try that. Ooh, a lipstick. So how many items was that? Was that this, 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 the koozie? So that's five. Okay. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking there was like tons more than five, but five is a good number. So okay, I will show you their lipstick. It, it comes in this cute. This is one of the cutest packaging, I think. With the butterfly moths there. A little scrolly, kind of Art Nouveau design. Okay, so this is Lydia. Ooh, oh, I don't have a color like that yet. 
That is pretty. Especially with all, well, it's the festival box, but with all the summer stuff. Um, that's going to be a really cool, pretty color. And I don't have anything like that. So, that was really exciting. <clears throat> and then there's a little pamphlet. The cool thing about Medusa makeup it is, is it is vegan and cruelty free. That's one of the reasons why I, I purchased from them. And, oh, okay. So this has some more stuff about them. So it's just a little um, pamphlet for their basic makeup so that you know what kind of stuff they have. Uh, so that's cool. I like that too. So that's everything in the monthly subscription box. It is $16.99, I think. Some, something like that. $16.99, $16.49, something like that. Um, anyway, it's a really good deal. Um, you just saw I have five things that... Um, you know, easily two of them could be that price or, you know, high-end something, one thing, you know, that kind of thing. So, and you get five. <clears throat> so it's a really good deal. So, um, I'm going to review the stuff that came in last month's box. I do have that video. I'll link it. I'll link the video too in case you want to see that. Um, so I have three things that I used and the first thing is this eyeshadow in Martinique. Um, so what I did was I used this on the lid and then um, I actually use these eye light eye toppers from BH Cosmetics on top and right now I think there's a sale they're like five dollars each and they're that's a really good deal. They're normally only eight dollars each too. Um, I think I got these on sale for half off so they were four dollars each um, so what I did was I put this on the lid and then I put the highlights around. Um, and I also used L'Oreal Voluminous for my mascara. Um, the next thing I used was, those things didn't come in the box, so it was just this one. It came in the Medusa box. Um, I used the Sunkissed Bronzer that I got and you can see it's a, it gave a pretty good color um, so it is more for summertime because it's a little bit darker it's like a mid cocoa um, or if you have a darker skin tone um, but for me I'm pretty pale and um, this is definitely more of a summer color when I've gotten some color and that I was really worried that it wouldn't be blendable it is very soft um, and it feels really smooth, but I was worried about the blendability. It does take a little more work than something super high-end, but then again, the price is not a high-end price. It's affordable, and it is vegan and cruelty-free. Um, so it took a little bit more work than a super high-end product, but not that much work, and it blended out pretty nicely. I think that looks pretty. Um, <clears throat> the last thing I used was this lip paint. Which you can see how how kind of neony, bubblegummy it looks there, and um, it's called Get Lucky, and it is a dry down liquid lip, and it. I would say my only thing about it, the only thing they have to worry about it, is once it's dry, you can't really work with it very much. Although that is pretty much true for most liquid lips, um, but it was definitely true with this one. There's no really, you know, fixing. Um, if you put another coat on top, it gets kind of not so nice. Um, and I was a little worried that I'd have to like speed through. I was able to just, you know, put it on at a good even pace. Uh, but the first time I tried it on, I didn't put it on right and I tried to make fixes and it really gets gunky and it's not good. So you really have to just take it off and start again. Um, <clears throat> but this time, I was able to put it on nice and even, and I think it came out pretty good. And um, definitely like it. It's not a color I wear every day, but if I do a neon look or, uh, you know, intense summer or intense pink, which I don't often do, but uh, sometimes, definitely, I will use this. And that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you are thinking about signing up and you have any questions, let me know. If you get the box too and you want to chat about it or tell me what you like or didn't like, let me know that too. 
Um, I'll leave everything down below. If you like the video, subscribe. You know how it goes. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.